That's been look like to me DPF pressure sensor faulty or sometime clogged up. I'm not sure. First, I'm going to sort out this faulty code P2452. I think it should be okay now. I'm going to give tiny pressure. Yeah, nice and clear. The thing clogged up. You can see this is the carbon. It's like a huge carbon clot. It's jumped out. You saw it's called the engine management code. Read faulty code. You can see as it is, good sign. No trouble code at all. And uh, I'm going to start again. Have a look at the dashboard. Only the driver door open. <coughs> I'm going to close the driver door. Right. Nice and... Welcome to the channel. I'm Charlie from Sanu Motors. Today I got Citroen C4 Picasso diesel 2017 model. Engine management light on. I'm going to plug in computer and have a look what's going on there. If you doesn't know where's the OBD connector, you need to open this low box. After that, you can see this flap. In here, you can pull. Now you can see this is the OBD connector. It's connected. After that, I'm going to ignition on. Need to switch off all electrical before you start to scan because sometimes it will drain your battery. I'll switch off all electricals. Now I'm going with my computer. I'm going to take a report under engine management. Right, there is a lot of faulty codes. Hard circular filter detected blocked. There is a red faulty code. Hard circular filter detected clogged. And another faulty code, hard circular filter detected overload. Particular filter differential tail pressure faulty. Particular filter signal in continuous turn. Particular filter different tail pressure detection and the high pressure circuit fuel pressure low than preference value. However, I feeling because of the DPF block all course illuminate first thing I need to check differential tail pressure that's mean look like to me DPF pressure sensor faulty or sometime clogged up I'm not sure First, I'm going to sort out this faulty code P2452 and start from there and we'll see how it's going on there. Stay with me, take a good idea. Let's go underneath the car. Now I'm underneath the car. I already jack up the car. Leave the axle stand underneath for the additional safety. When you work it underneath, careful. This is the DPF. This is the before the DPF pressure sensor line, pressure sensor inside here. First, I'm going to remove this connector here, hose, and check how is the pressure for the this side. Right, you can see I'll connected my 
pressure well now with zero i'm going to pressure it shouldn't be pressure there you can see huge pressure build up there basically this filter clog up however i'm going to remove here it should be sometime this metal pipe or could be inside because i'm not sure where it's clogged up because most common problem for the here then i'm going to crack the nut here and the remove the pipe and have a look what's going on here i remove the line you can see still pressurize the system now pressure dropped i need to clean this pipe you can see block clear up see right i think it should be okay now i'm going to give tiny pressure yeah nice and clear the thing clog up you can see this is the carbon it's like a huge carbon clot it's jumped out you saw it's already clean the pipe but however i'm going to check with the pressure gauge and have a look any pressure build up for the gauge see no pressure at all that's very nice right next step to remove this one and need to go underneath again you can see inside this hole carbon build up and the tiny hole there i need to clean that hole also well then after that i'm going to check pressure for the back one normally the back one okay i'm going to disconnect here and check the pressure they already cleaned the, that hole now it's cleared you can see there's a bigger hole there early it's cover with the carbon however after that i'm going to check the rear one you can see no pressure there that's mean it's fine i'm going to show you how to change dpf pressure sensor basically this bracket see you can it's it's bolt up underneath here once you remove this this is the 10 mil nut then after that you can remove the whole unit down then after that this is the sensor so also the 10 mil after that need to disconnect and remove this clamp then now you can remove the sensor when you replace it make sure white for the this side green for and white for the basically connector side okay i'm going to change the sensor this is the new sensor bosch this is the part number if you need i'm always advised to go for a better quality parts less problem less hassle uh, otherwise you have to do couple of time same job and before you open the packing make sure this one identically okay there is a inside three pin have a look inside your three pin because once you open this package we can't return this one that's why i said to you before open the package make sure identically both okay fit okay remove this one remove one pipe and install for the same side then after that go to the other side otherwise you are going to if you remove the both side 
sometimes you are going to mix up. It won't mix up. Basically, there is a color coating. The white color inside here, green color outer one. But however, better to go one by one. Take your own time. Because of the sensor faulty, if it's sensor not working, then after that your system not work well. That's why the all causing the problem I'm thinking. Right. I already connect the this line and uh, already connected here. Now next step I'm going to use my JML BPF cleaning liquid. I'm going to connect another connector here and try to inject as much possible far in and after that I'm going to leave it like a 45 minute and going to do the region process with the computer. Inject whole bottle, connect all hose and clips. Now I'm going to leave it half an hour, 45 minutes and start the car and show you how to do the region process with the computer. Now you can see as it is, I start the region process then I want to follow computer instruction. So you can see a little bit smoking coming out from the exhaust. You can see as it is region process completed. Then press OK. Right, I'm going to leave it another five minute running the engine still everything as it is and also you can see at the dashboard no any warning for the engine management however after five ten minutes I'll come back and have a look again any faulty code left in the computer I'm going to switch off the car and ignition on again and I'm going to check any faulty code left in the system take a report under the engine management code read faulty code you can see as it is good sign no trouble code at all and uh, I'm going to start again Have a look at the dashboard, only the driver door open. <coughs> I'm going to close the driver door. Right. Nice and clean dashboard. Thanks for watching. You know if you have this faulty code, you know what to do now. If you have any question, comment, suggestion, please mention below. I'll come back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to share this video, subscribe and press bell icon, then you can get lot of useful video and tips like this. Thank you. See you in the next video.